everybody, it's Stefan here. Um, I just wanted to make a quick post about something that I've been thinking about a lot, and that's boxes. Now, boxes can be good boxes, or they can be bad boxes. Boxes that fit my stuff in them are good. Boxes that fit me into them, mm, not so good. So, the reason I was thinking about this lately is because I work part-time for the psychology department here at Florida State University, and we're doing a traffic study. And one of the things that I do is to pre-screen participants who want to participate in the study. And the very first question, as I'm asking all of my gender-bending friends to help me out and do the study, very first question, gender. I mean, luckily, it's a line and not a box, but is that really the very first question that they should be asking? Seriously? Seriously. I mean, I understand that it's one of the factors that they're looking for, but I just don't know. Personally, for me, when I see lines to fill in for my gender, I usually type in something like gender queer trans guy or um, something of the like. And so I feel that that's more descriptive of me, and then they can just kind of take it as they want. If they want to, in the study, like, gender be a number one for female or a number two for male, like, that's their decision. But, like, I feel I've been true to myself in, like, writing it in the first place. On the other hand, it's a lot more complicated when there's male-female boxes to check. Um, I don't know exactly the best way to do that at this point, because since I'm genderqueer and transitioning and all that stuff, I don't feel that I fit into a male or a female box at this point. And so I usually kind of go on whether they're asking for sex or whether they're asking for gender, because since those two are similar, they're not exactly the same, and um, I choose to define them differently for myself. Um, when the question is sex and it says male or female, I usually put female because that's what my driver's license says. That's my legal sex. And when it asks for gender, I usually put male because my gender is more on the masculine side. Um, but still, that doesn't totally make sense because my sex is transsexual and my gender is genderqueer, so it still doesn't fit in, but um, that's what I do to deal with that. Or sometimes I'll leave it blank if that's an option, obviously, um, or check both of them or whatever. Um, but, I mean, there are some constraints based on whether it's, like, for a government thing or whatever, like... Um, for instance, um, if I mark male on my, um, on my school stuff, and then there, um, you have to, all males are required to enlist for, um, selective service in order to get financial aid. So if I say male and then I'm not in the selected service, selected for service for, um, the military, then they're like, oh, you're eligible for funding, so... I don't really want to do that, so there are like certain constraints, but um, it's just very, very frustrating. And if I had to pick one thing that I was most frustrated with, it would be boxes and having to choose sides. And uh, that's just my little quick video rant about that. <laughs>